Have you ever wondered how streetlights magically turn on when it gets dark and switch off when the sun rises? What if I told you that you can build this same system at home using just a few basic components? In today's video, we'll uncover that secret by building a dark sensor circuit using an operational amplifier and an LDR, light-dependent resistor. And along the way, we'll understand how op-amps compare voltages to make automatic decisions. Just like a tiny electronic brain. Welcome to Electrotechie, where we learn electronics from basics to brilliance, understanding the concept of operational amplifier. Before jumping into the circuit, let's take a moment to appreciate one of the most important components in modern electronics, the operational amplifier, or simply op-amp. Think of an op-amp as an intelligent electronic brain. It has two input pins and one output pin. The two inputs are called the inverting input, marked as minus, and the non-inverting input, marked plus. The op-amp constantly compares the voltages at these two pins. If the non-inverting input is higher, the output becomes high. If the inverting input is higher, the output goes low. In simple words, the op-amp acts as an electronic decision maker, comparing signals and producing a response instantly. We'll be using this comparison ability to detect light and darkness. Now, let's talk about the LDR, light-dependent resistor. This tiny component behaves like the eyes of our circuit. It senses light and converts it into an electrical signal by changing its resistance. When it's bright, the LDR's resistance drops very low, allowing current to pass easily. But when it's dark, its resistance shoots up, blocking most of the current. This unique behavior allows the LDR to act as a natural light sensor, perfect for automatic nightlights, garden lamps, or even street lights. By combining this sensor with our op-amp, we can make a circuit that thinks for itself based on how bright or dark the environment is. Introducing the LM358IC. All right, let's meet the hero of today's project, the LM358 Integrated Circuit. It's an eight pin dual operational amplifier, meaning it has two separate op-amps inside a single chip. Pin four connects to the negative voltage, while pin eight connects to the positive supply which can be anywhere between 5 and 12 volts. The LM358 is widely used because it works perfectly with a single power supply, making it ideal for battery-powered circuits. In our setup, we'll use one of its op-amps as a voltage comparator, comparing the brightness detected by the LDR with a fixed reference voltage. When it gets dark, the op-amp's output will automatically change, turning on our LED light. Circuit explanation and working. Now let's put all these pieces together and understand the circuit design. We begin by connecting the LDR and a 10 kilo resistor in series to form a voltage divider. This divider creates a variable voltage at the point between the two components. 
which we connect to the inverting input, IC pin number 2 of the LM358. Next, we connect a variable resistor or potentiometer to the non-inverting input, IC pin number 3. This sets a reference voltage, a threshold that determines when the light should turn on or off. The output of the op-amp connects to an LED light. Pin 8 of the IC goes to the positive supply, and pin 4 goes to ground. Now, if you look at the full circuit diagram on the screen, it's actually quite simple just a few wires and components forming a clever system. So, how does it work? When there's enough light, the LDR's resistance is very low. This keeps the voltage at the non-inverting input below the reference voltage set by the potentiometer. As a result, the op-amp's output remains low and the LED stays off. But when the surroundings become dark, the LDR's resistance increases. The voltage at the non-inverting input slowly rises. When it surpasses the reference voltage, the op-amp switches its output to high, powering the LED. This simple behavior makes the LM358 act as a comparator, automatically controlling the light depending on the environment. Pretty smart, right? Power supply and practical notes. Once your circuit is ready, it's time to power it up. You can use a 5-volt to 12-volt supply depending on the LED you're using. If you're using a 4-volt LED strip or bulb, supply no more than 6 volts. But if you're using a 12-volt LED strip, you can safely connect a 12-volt source. One of the best parts about this circuit is how flexible it is. You can easily adjust the sensitivity by turning the potentiometer, changing the light level at which the LED turns on. It's almost like giving your circuit a sense of judgment, deciding how dark is dark enough. Now comes the fun part, testing the project. When you expose the LDR to light, you'll notice the LED remains off. Now slowly cover the R with your hand or a piece of paper. As the light fades, the LED begins to glow automatically. It feels almost magical to see it working. If you tweak the potentiometer, you'll notice that you can set different trigger points for the light to turn on, giving you full control. Want to make this circuit control something bigger than an LED? Just connect the output of the op-amp to a relay module. This way, the same small signal can switch on high-voltage devices, like a 230-volt lamp, fan, or any AC load. This is the same principle used in automatic streetlights and energy-saving smart systems, real-world applications and insights. This tiny project may look simple, but it teaches big lessons in electronics. It combines sensors, comparators, and control logic, three key concepts used in almost every automation system. From solar garden lights to security systems that detect motion and darkness, the same fundamental idea is applied everywhere. You can even extend this circuit by using multiple LDRs to sense light from different directions, or by adding a transistor stage to drive brighter lights. If you're a beginner, this project is a perfect introduction to analog electronics, because it helps you understand both the hardware connections and the underlying theory of voltage comparison. By experimenting with different resistor values or light sources, you'll start to feel how circuits respond to their environment. Now. Let's talk about a few common mistakes and fixes you might encounter. If your LED never turns on, check your wiring, especially the polarity of the LED and the orientation of the LDR. Make sure your potentiometer is connected correctly so it adjusts the reference voltage smoothly. If the circuit is too sensitive or not sensitive enough, simply tweak the pot until the trigger point feels right. These little debugging steps are what separate a builder from a creator. And there you have it your very own automatic dark sensor circuit built using an LM358 operational amplifier and an LDR. You've learned how our op amps make electronic decisions, how LDRs act as light sensors, and how both combine to create a circuit that reacts, just like a human eye. Pretty amazing, isn't it? If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Electrotechie, where we transform simple circuits into smart creations. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep learning, Keep experimenting and keep shining from basics to brilliance.